near the Korean DMZ demilitarized zone line. A missionary organization is flying balloons. Hanging on the balloons are copies of the Bible. The balloons are headed for North Korea. North Korea is a nation completely closed to the outside world. The southern border is blocked with the military demarcation line that was installed after the Korean War. The demarcation line is full of landmines and barbed wire fences. The northern border is shared with China, but save a select few, no one can cross this border. The North Korean government have isolated their own people from the outside world through censoring all information about the world. This is the International Religious Freedom Report. Research and publishing done by the US Department of State. According to the report, North Korea has a few Buddhist temples, two Protestant churches and one Russian Orthodox Church. However, North Korea was on the list of countries of particular concern recommendations of the US Commission on International Religious Freedom. 종교의 자유는 인간의 기본권에 있어서 가장 핵심적인 부분이죠. 국내에 들어와 있는 탈북자분들에 대한 전면적인 이 북한 종교자에 대한 실태 조사를 제대로 하고 있는데요. 아, 공통적으로 다들 북한의 종교 자유는 없고 어떤 필요에 의해서 제도화된 동원된 종교의 기관만 운영되고 있다는 것이기 때문에 종교의 자유가 있다고 하는 것은 사실 그 거의 불가능한 이야기죠. In the years of the 1990s, North Korea suffered a severe famine. In this time period, countless North Koreans escaped from North Korea and entered China. And those who helped these defectors were the South Korean and American missionaries. <laughs> This video was created by a missionary organization in the year 2003, filming North Korean citizens across the border. These people secretly cross the border and enter China to receive both economic aid and education in faith. Mr. Yi Young Kim started to believe in God through these study trips. However, he did not stop at finding his faith. He covertly gathered his neighbors and brought them to China to introduce them to Christianity. But in the end, they were discovered by the authorities. 그 자기 라인이 책임자들이 다 있거든요. 이렇게 그러면 다른 사람은 에, 우리 라인을 내가 알고 있는 사람들은 절대 모르게 다 이렇게 지하 교인이라니 그렇게 됐어요. 그렇게 되다가 그 지하한테 연락 온게한 분이 이그 보이브에 잡혔다. 근데 잘못됐다는 사람 저를 안단 말이에요. 그래가지고 제가 위험하다. 그 연락 듣고 그날로 북한 탈출해가지고 그래가지고 우리 아버지 70, 80대인 그 아버지하고 어머니하고 누이 동생 
Now, of the 100,000 that we believe to be uh, Christian in North Korea, about a third of those reside in concentration camps. Uh, they're in concentration camps, typically not charged with being Christian. Uh, even though they're jailed for their faith, uh, they're jailed on a charge like espionage or sedition. Yorok is an infamous concentration camp. Christians who are sent there can never be released before their lifetime. Foley Hyun Sok mainly works on spreading Christianity to North Korea. The most widely used method is to hang up Bibles on balloons and then let the balloons fly to the north. The Bibles that are sent to North Korea are manufactured based on precise calculations on how much weight the balloons can handle. On the sack full of Bibles, a rubber tube is attached and a formula is pumped into the rubber tube. It takes two hours for the formula to melt the rubber tube and once the rubber melts, the sack will open, dropping the Bibles. Then, do these balloons actually fly to North Korea? We put in a GPS tracker in the balloon to check its location. GPS를 이 풍선 안에다 넣어서 한번 날려봤어요. 그런데 정말로 이 북한에 들어갔고요. 여기가 계획성하고 굉장히 가까운 곳인데 거기 여기 주위에는 한 다섯 개 여섯 개의 그 마을이 있었고요. 저희는 이 마을에 직접 떨어지지 않은 게 너무 다행인 것이 마을에 떨어지면 일단 거기 비상 경보가 울리거든요. 그래서 비상 경보가 울리면 그 사람들은 집 밖으로 나오질 못해요. 어 그렇게 해서 수거를 하거든요. 북한에서는 그래서 산에 떨어졌기 때문에 좋은 결과가 나왔다고 생각하고요. Some things are hand-delivered over the border. These are clothes with hidden verses of the Bible sewn into them. 여기 있는 옷들이 보통 이제 많이 사용되는 옷인데요. 여기 보면은 어 이렇게 어 성형책으로 쓴 그런 안감을 이렇게 할 때도 있고요. 그 다음에 또한 가지는 여기 어 보시면. 이렇게 해서 성경책을 넣었습니다. 그래서 어, 이 자켓을 받는 분은 당연히 어, 지하 교인입니다. Unlike the balloons which are designed to target random people, these Bible jackets are delivered to a specific client. Folly Hyun Suk has a memory about an underground Christian she can't possibly forget. 2007년도에 어, 두 개의 프로젝트였는데요. 하나는 어, 북한 안에 사진관을 하는 거였었어요. 그 차리는 사람이 지하 교인이었어요. 저희가 모든 자금을 다 대주고 그분들이 그거로 인해서 지하 교인 활동을 더 활발하게 하고 그다음 두 번째는 어, 자립할 수 있는 그다음에 또한 가지는 단추 카메라 아니면은 핀 카메라라고 그래가지고 가방 속에 넣는 거. 뭐 이런 거를 통해서 저희가 지하 교인들의 실상을 어, 찍는 그런 거였습니다. 야, 너네 왜 여기서 공부하니? 집이 없니? This footage recorded by such underground Christians shows the main streets of Chongjin, North Korea. 호빵인가? 호빵. 
But after some time, the North Korean government announced that they have arrested spies affiliated with foreign intelligence agencies. They were the underground Christians she worked with. This video was filmed by the underground Christians to record their secret worship session. These people have not received a good education in faith, so their prayers are mostly pleas for a more comfortable life. This book is the North Korea Central Yearbook, published by the North Korean government in 1950, the year the Korean War started. According to the yearbook, there were about 2,000 churches and 200,000 Christians within the North Korean region. It's important to understand the historical context of North Korean Christianity as being connected to the West through the great Pyongyang revival of 1907. And that was really the foundation of, of Christianity and that happened in North Korea. And so North Korea became known as the Jerusalem of the East. If you were a Western missionary, uh, you didn't go through Seoul on your way to China or another country in Asia. You went through Pyongyang. Especially Pyongyang was central location of Christianity. And in the center of this giant Christian movement were the two missionaries from the United States, Samuel A. Moffat and William M. Baird. Samuel Moffat. 그다음에 또 빼놓을 수 없는 분이 베어드, 뭐 순실 또 이렇게 저기 이 평양 그 장로의 신학교 설립, 다이 뭐 한국의 개화나 교육 이런 데 아주 큰 도움을 준그 그런 인물들이고 평양 복음화와 떼어서 생각하기 어렵죠. This is the Pyongyang Presbyterian Theological Seminary, established by Moffat to educate new religious leaders. But we found a name in the alumni list that caught our attention. Kang Yang Wook. The Kang Yang Wook 목사, 82년에서 사망하기 전까지 북한의 부주석을 지내고 어, 굉장히 그 김일성의 영향을 많이 미쳤던 사람이죠. 
김일성이 자기 회고록에 보면 어, 초등학교 6학년 때 강양욱 선생님이 담임 선생을 했으면 좋겠다 이렇게 기대를 했는데 정말 그 기대에 어긋나지 않게 담임 선생이 돼서 굉장히 좋은 관계를 유지했다 그런 회, 회고를 하는 걸볼수 있는데. A minister who graduated from a seminary and who greatly influenced Kim Il Sung as his elementary school teacher. He is also Kim Il Sung's maternal uncle. In fact, the Kim Il Sung family was a famous Christian family. 사실 김일성 이제 기독교 집안에서 자랐잖아요. 그러니까 이제 김일성이 외할아버지 장로인데 강도녹이라고 이 이제 학교의 장로였습니다. 어머니 강반석. 이제 그 반석 이름 자체가 예수 그리스도의 수제자인 베드로. 를 반석이라고 하거든요. 그러니까 베드로 반석 기독교적인 이름을 완전히 땄어요. 그리고 이제 김일성이 아버지 김형지기도 숭실학교 기독교학교인 숭실학교를 물론 중퇴는 했습니다만 다녔고. Union Christian College was established by William Baird in 1897. 그런데 그 당시에 그 숭실이라는 것이 입학 조건이 종교적인 그 성실함 그걸 굉장히 그 강조를 했습니다. 거의 요즘 그 신학교 수준이었다고 그럽니다. 이만큼 저기 그 아버지가 신앙이 강했고요. 그리고 특히 김일성 자신이 중학교 2학년 정도까지는 교회에 굉장히 열심히 나갔던 사람입니다. 주체 이데올로지 is best understood as a religion because it commands the loyalty and faithfulness of every single person in North Korea and it permeates every aspect of the North Korean state. We have weekly worship services. North Koreans have bi-weekly self-criticism meetings. Uh, statements like the Ten Principles, which were clearly borrowed from Christianity, all of those uh, elements are drawn from the Christian faith. Kim Il-sung Revolutionary Research Centers has the same role as the churches in Christianity. Currently, about 100,000 centers are expected to exist in various locations in North Korea. One of the things that we found to be fascinating is, is that when North Koreans are exposed to the Bible for the first time, what amazes them the most isn't John, the book of John or the miracles of Jesus, it's the book of Genesis in which uh, they learn that God created human beings and that they're created in his image because in North Korea, every human being is created in the image of Kim Il-sung. And so uh, there is no person that you could look at in North Korea without seeing the image of Kim Il-sung. There's no natural feature in North Korea that you could look at without seeing the image of Kim Il-sung. Also a symbol that works like a cross in Christianity exists for the Juche ideology. Uh, they have to wear the Kim Il-sung and Kim Jong-il badges uh, so that every person that you look at would bear the image of Kim Il-sung. And so in every way, uh, Juche is focused on the worship of the Kim family. Juche ideology was originated from Christian belief based on his experiences during childhood. Maybe because of this, the US religion statistics website adherence.com has classified the Juche ideology as one of the 10 religions of the world with approximately 19 million believers. 위대한 김일성 대원스님과 위대한 스님께서 위대한 스님과 경련 원스님의 경련은 장군님의 어버이 장군님께서 경련은 김정은 원스님의 사랑은 끝이 없습니다. The Juche ideology was no longer an ideology or a philosophy. It became a religion. 아, 북한에서 나온 사람들 대체로 성경을 처음 접하고 무슨 이야기를 하는가 하면 이게 기독교를 모방을 해서 우리를 속였구나 하고 사람들이 바로 진단해 버려요. 그러니까 이것이 들어가면 상당히 그 북한 사람들의 그 정신을 뒤흔들 수밖에 없죠. 지금 현재 북한 내에서 
음, 그런데 그 여러, 여러 가지 문화적인 그 침투에 대해서 굉장히 경계하고 있는데 그 중에서 아주 조직적으로 들어오는 게 기독교인 거죠. 특히 예, 이제 적성국인 남쪽 남조선과 또 가장 싫어하는 미제가 합작해서 들어오는 거니까 그것은 바, 다시 말하면 북한 체제를 붕괴시키기 위한 전략, 문화적인 전략이라고 볼 수밖에 없는 거죠. 북한 내에서는. Due to such reasons, religion in North Korea is not just a faith. It directly threatens the longevity of the current regime. Christianity's aggressive propagation and North Korea's monolithic ideology system is coming into a direct clash. Even though Christians use various methods to spread Christianity to North Korea. 모든 여인 중에 내가 복이 있도다. 뭐라고요? 누구 루시? 뭐라고요? A method they started to use a lot recently is using visual media. 택하셨다. 어떻게 그런 일이? 전 남자를 가까이 한 적이 없어요. 어떻게 그런 일이? 전 남자를 가까이 한 적이 없어요. 뭐 이렇게 예. 어떻게 그런 일이 전 남자를 가까이 한 적이 없어요. 됐어요. 그만하세요. 네. <웃음> 수고하셨어요. 감사합니다. 네. And what I know to be true in my heart. 아, 네. 이거는 이제 미국의 VOM이라는 선교 단체가 있습니다. 거기서 예수님에 관한 영화를 만들었어요. 애니메이션도. 누구이신지요 그래서 이북에서 넘어온 탈북자들을 써 가지고 성으로 좀 훈련을 시켜 가지고 그분들로 하여금 이 더빙을 해달라는 거죠. 그래서 이것이 이북으로 넘어갔을 때 이북 말투가 거기 들어가 있으니까 더 친근감이 있잖아요. 끌려와서 마침내 끓는 물에 던져졌지. A total of six voice actors have been recruited for this purpose. 대제사장. They join professional South Korean voice actors to dub these animations. This movie, dubbed with North Korean accents, will be sent to North Korean underground Christians with other items. Volley, Hyun Suk have finished preparing the items to send to the North. Most are videos or songs saved in memory devices. In the MP4 players, the animation dubbed by North Korean defected voice actors are installed. 그 다음에 지금 현재 북한 안에서도 MP, MP3 플레이어는 굉장히 이렇게 어, 보편화 되어 있습니다. 그래서 저희가 많이 보내주고 있고요. These MP3 players have hymns inside, but they are not ordinary hymns. People are the elderly choir whose members are all North Korean defectors. Boli Hyun Su changed the lyrics to the song of General Kim Il Sung, which many North Koreans are used to, into a hymn and sent that recording into North Korea. Also, a solar panel charger is added to the package. Uh, 그 태양열로 하지 않으면 이걸 들을 수가 없어요. 거기 들어가면은 어, 북한 안에는 전기가 없어서 맨날 기, 기차도 가다가 쓰고 가다가 쓰고 그러거든요. And now the most dangerous task remains. 어, 태양열로 만든 거고요. 다음에 그다음에 성덕책 두 개. 어, 이런 것들은 직접 작동하는 거를 한번 해보라고 그러고 그 신양에. 그 양육 받으러 어떤 분이 오신대요. 그러니까 그분한테 잘 전해 주시고요. 어, 그분들이 위험하지 않게 
간사님도 위험하지 않게 잘 다녀오셨으면 좋겠어요. 볼리 휴온 숙 has currently managed to reach the underground Christians and brought them to China. The items will be delivered to them through a missionary. The underground Christians are waiting inside a safe house for these items. The most important thing is that they return safely to North Korea with these items. This is a safe house in China, operated by a missionary organization. Here are two underground Christians. The problem is how to bring these into North Korea. They must evade the eyes of border patrol or customs. We got permission to conduct an interview with them with great difficulty. The man recently started to believe in Christianity, but the woman and her family were underground Christians for a long time. Then how do they bring these into North Korea?
The underground Christians returned to North Korea, holding on to the very things that could endanger their lives. They will nurture their dangerous and lonely faith in that hostile land. The mini Bible with Foley Hyun Suk's signature. The package was safely delivered to the underground Christians. But the North Korean household seems to be better off than the images we are accustomed to. We asked a recently defected North Korean to verify the video. We must observe the smiling portraits of Kim Il-sung and Kim Jong-il. These are quite different from the portraits of the past in which they have solemn faces. These portraits started to be distributed when Kim Jong-un rose to power on October 2012 as a part of the Kim Il-sung family idolization project. This proves that this video is very recent. Underground Christians are taking off the badge from their chest and starting to read the Bibles sent from South Korea. They also gather secretly to pray. North Korean underground Christians are shouting out to the world of their existence from a nation without freedom of religion. What answer should we give them? Send them just to the right people, God, that they would know about you. Thank you, Lord. Christianity spreading to the north threatens North Korea's monolithic ideology. Also, the various items Christians send to North Korea in order to propagate Christianity makes North Koreans reevaluate the reality of their nation. North Korea, the enclosed kingdom. Its hard shell is beginning to crack.